Kiwa kama Tif TV Tif TV tupo kijamii zaidi Good afternoon everybody uh, My name is Roger London I'm one of the UK directors of Watchman International. I'm here with my wife, Glenis. And we're also directors of Life Water UK. And uh, I want to say that it's a real honor to be here. It's a real honor to be amongst these distinguished guests. And uh, we're here for a very specific purpose. We're here for the launch of a life water project Perhaps I can just tell you a little bit about life water. Life water is a UK registered charity. And uh, we're working uh, through national and local teams across East Africa. For 12 years we've been running life water projects. And we've been placing water purification equipment into homes, into schools, into health centers. In 2016 we even had a project here in Zanzibar where we placed some of our water purifying equipment into many schools in, in Unguja and Pemba. And this time we're here in Zanzibar and we're running a pilot program. And we're working in three communities. And if I'm right, those communities are Chukwani, Chukwani, Kisauni, Kisauni, and Welezo. Na Welezo. Okay, I, I, I pronounce them okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, but it's a pilot program. That means it's a beginning. It's a test program here in Zanzibar. So not everybody in those communities will be receiving a life water system. But a number of families in each of those communities will receive a life water system. And, uh, and after that we will assess how we move forward. All life, water, all life water programs are, are run by sponsorship. We're, we're not a business. We're a charity. And we seek to raise funds for our projects. And often our, our sponsors are, are from the West. But we're very keen to have sponsorship even in the countries where we're working. I think if we're going to move forward successfully here in Zanzibar, then we need partnership. We need partnership with the NGOs. Partnership with the government offices. Partnership with businesses. And partnership with individuals. Because there's a great need here in Zanzibar. So that's why we're here. You know, I think we're all aware of the fact of waterborne diseases. We just had that very wonderful drama that was speaking about cholera. And there are other waterborne diseases which uh, potentially are killers. Especially of children and older people. There's cholera, there's typhoid, there's dysentery, 
and the spell has here na ile hayo mambo magonjo mbalimbali ambayo ya 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 maji and the all diseases caused by bacteria na magonjo mengi ambayo yanasababishwa na bacteria you know every day around the world unajua kwamba sasa hivi kila siku duniani kote 4000 children die every day through drinking unclean water watoto 1400 wanakufa kwa kunywa maji yasiyo sawa na salama Another statistic which is really staggering. Hiyo ni moja ya ya tafiti zilizokusha kufanywa. More than 2 billion people around the world have no access to clean and safe drinking water. Kuna zaidi ya bilioni mbili ambao hawana uwezo wa kuyafikia kuyapata maji sawa na salama. That's around one in every three people. Unakuta hapo ni katika watu katika katika watu watatu mtu mmoja. You know the UN, the UN has a goal. Unajua UN wana 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 mipango and it's a millennium development goal and that is that everybody around the world should have access to an improved water source but an improved water source doesn't even guarantee that water is safe So you might be asking the question, well, well what is life water? What can life water do to help? I've already said that uh, we supply equipment that purifies the water. And when we go into a community, we donate these uh, life water systems. Wanatoa hii mfumo wa maji ya kuchakata maji safi na salama into homes katika majumbani so families have their own life water purifying system kwamba hasa katika familia watakuwa na huo mfumo huo mtambo wa kuchakata maji safi we also donate the life water systems into local schools na pia wanatoa katika baadhi ya mashule and that means that 24 hours a day children can have access to clean and safe water both during the daytime and even in the evening at home na pia wa kwa masaa yote 12 watu tutakuwa tutakuwa baskulini watakuwa wanapata maji sawa na salama na hata wakirudi nyumbani we donate life water systems into health centers tunapetrotopia tuna katika baadhi ya, ya miji and i know that many health centers use the life water to when people need to take their medication na najua pia kuna watu wengi pia wanatumia hizi ikiwa kama sehemu ya dawa okay let, let me talk about life water and and show you how it works uh, Uh, my is that the salama is our kids they say that you want to only for that no okay okay kids oh, okay. Okay this is what we call a life water kit. Hicho ndo kinachotumika kwa sababu kwamba hicho ndo kinafanya maji kinatakasa au kinasafisha maji. And everything is in here. Na kila kitu ambacho kiko humo ndani to create a life water system. Kinatengeneza kwa kutengeneza maji ya safi along with two buckets. Ambayo inakopa katika hii hizi ndo mbili. Can you see the two buckets? Unaweza kuona hizi ndo mbili eh? Okay, thank you for your help. Asante sana kwa msaada wako. So these kits come from the UK. Hiki faki natoka huko Uingereza. The buckets we buy from here in Tanzania. Hizi tunazunguza hapa Zanzibar. So what is it what is it about a life water kit or system that really makes things better? Hii ina maana gani katika inafanyaje kazi hata kuonyesha? Okay this is the most important piece of the equipment. Hicho ndo kifaa muhimu sana miongoni mwa vitu muhimu katika mfumo wa maji. It's only something small. Kinaonekana kama ni kitu kidogo sana. But this is a wonderful piece of water purifying equipment. Ni kipande cha kidogo ambacho muhimu sana kwa kutuja maji. It's made of a ceramic material. Imefanywa kwa kutoka material haya ambayo yanatajwa. It's made of material that's like unglazed pottery. Imetengenezwa kama kama chungu fulani hivi. And it's hollow. Okay. It's hollow inside. Na ndani yake kuna kitu kama kuna vishimo ndani ndani vidogo vidogo. Okay, and this is the filter that removes all the bacteria and the parasites. You know filter ambayo inachuja na vile vidudu vidudu and cleanses the water. Na kuyasafisha maji. And how it works is like this. Inafanya inafanya kama hivi sasa. So normal. This one. I've 
I'm not connecting it all up at the moment, but I just wanted to show you. In a minute, you will see the battle uh, And I think some of you will even be able to have some water from the life water. But the filter goes into the top bucket. So there's a bucket that goes on a stand. The filter is fixed in. Na hapa inakuisha tengenezo ifita imetengenezo hapa. And what happens is the water in the top bucket. Kina chuto kia kwa maji katika hii ndoa sasa. It soaks through into the filter. Ina fika ina funika hii filter. It all goes through very very microscopic holes. Kwa ina fika taka vitutu vidogo vidogo mbapo uneza kubiyo tu kwa microscope. When you look at the filter, you would say, well, there's no holes in this filter. But there are many thousands of holes. They're so small, you can't even see them. Okay, but, but water can pass through. Because water is a very tiny molecule. And so the water passes through. It fills the chamber. And then it comes out to the end of the chamber. And it comes down the tube. Into a bottom bucket. That has a tap fixed to it. You'll, you'll see it in a minute, you'll be able to see the whole system. And as I said, you'll be able to drink some of the water. Okay. Uh, but you might say this. What about the bacteria? I have bacteria. What about the parasites? parasites. Do they pass through the holes? And the answer is simple. Hapana. Hapana. No, they don't pass through the hole. Because bacteria, so bacteria and parasites, parasites are all too big to pass through the hole. So all those bacteria that cause life-threatening diseases, they remain on the outside of the filter. And only pure water passes through into the bottom bucket. And that's where you access the water. You know, we have, uh, that, that's simply how it is. Well, and, and, and this filter will filter water at up to 10 liters an hour. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, I think can I just can I just say one more thing? Okay, this is the one thing I want to say. That we've been in many villages and given out life water systems. And we have many testimonies from people. Even village chairman. And their testimony is that since life water came to my village, we've had no waterborne diseases. Everybody is clear. Nobody needs to go to hospital now for for typhoid, typhoid. Or for dysentery. Much money is saved by and much health is there for the now, children and for the parents. Okay, thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Tukiwa kama Tif TV. Tif TV, tupo kijamii zaidi.